of purpose. It's a rehabilitation program on Rikers Island where inmates train rescue dogs. We have five dogs in here, different ages, different temperaments. The inmates, many who committed nonviolent crimes, take classes on animal care and grooming, then apply what they've learned to the training. We have done things, and uh, it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's not an uh, easy thing to say sorry and, um, you know, make amends with whatever we did. So this is a way to, like, give back. Gabriel De Silva was arrested for burglary. He says the program behind bars is helping him in ways the streets couldn't. All of us are like family in here. You know, we work together as a team. Edward Ganoccio was arrested for petty larceny. He wants to get into a dog grooming business when he's released. To be honest with you, this program has helped me immensely. The rescue dogs are provided by the Animal Farm Foundation and live in a housing area with the inmates for two months at a time. Most of them are pit bull mixes. Animal Farm's main goal is to end discrimination for both people and dogs, so we feel being part of this program rescues both people and dogs. And dogs like Mikey that are in this program go on to be service dogs, police dogs, or they get adopted. Paws of Purpose started in July 2016. So far, 85 dogs have been trained by nearly 270 inmates. This place allows them to, be, to show compassion, to show love to show friendship to these dogs. You know, they really provide a safe environment for them and uh, it brings out a side of them that you don't normally see. The Department of Corrections says Pause of Purpose has benefits beyond the barbed wire fences. It reduces violence on the island and builds social skills among inmates. DOC says at the end of the program, the inmates receive training certificates and lifelong lessons. The goal is really to make people's transition back home easier so they can become successful. As for their four-legged friends, they find new homes. <laughs> On Rikers Island, Jennifer Bisram, PIX11 News.